known about scientific notation? Have we heard that before? No. Have we ever had our calculator give our answers in a really weird manner, 10 to the power of something? No. Have we? No. Okay, so scientific notation is when we write a number in this form. So a whole number, that's uh, not a whole number necessarily, sorry. Uh, a is a number between 1 and 10, and then this is 10 to the power of something, right? Why do you think we'll write, need to write some number uh, in this form rather than writing in the normal form that we used to? <coughs> Any idea? Yes. It's too, uh, too big. Exactly. So if I was to write uh, the mass of Earth, what do you think the mass of Earth is? How many? It's 6 followed by 24 zeros approximately. So if I was to write it here, 6 and then 24 zeros in kilos, it'll take me the whole lesson and I'll still make a mistake. And how will you count, right? How will you read that number? So it's easier to just write 6 times 10 to the power of 24. Does that make sense? Yes, so scientific notation comes in very handy when we're writing numbers that are either too big or too small. Make sense? So today we're going to learn how to convert a basic number, a basic numeral into a scientific notation form and the other way around. Is that clear? So, write as a basic numeral. So, what you have to do is you have to get rid of the scientific notation. Now, it's 6.2 times 10 to the power of 5. Is the power positive or negative? Positive. Positive, right? That means we need to make this number bigger. Now, there's two directions I can move the decimal to the right or to the left. What would make the number bigger? Moving this decimal to the right or to the left? To the right. Right, exactly. So if the power is positive, you move decimal to the right. Does that make sense? How many places do I need to make move it? Five. Okay, so isn't the decimal point here? So it's 6.2, but I need to move it five places to the right. So one, two, three, four, five. So that means the decimal comes here. What do I fill the gaps with? Zero. Exactly. So get rid of this decimal, and that is your new number. But because there's no numbers after this, do I need to write the decimal? No. So this is your answer. So 6.2 times 10 to the power of 5 is actually equal to 620,000. So to convert from scientific notation to a basic number, if the power is positive, move the decimal that many places to the right. Yes? What would you do if the number is not 10? Yeah, it will be. That, that's what scientific notation is. Okay. So A, that is something between 1 and 10 to the 10 of power of something. So that is scientific notation. It will be to the power of 10. Are we happy with that? Next one. Again, is the power positive? Yeah. <coughs> so that means we need to move the decimal how many places to the right? Four. Four. So the decimal is here. One, two, three, four. So we get two, seven, three, one, six. Do I need to write the decimal here? No. no because there's nothing after. Happy? Now, what if the power is negative? Right. Now, that means this number has to be made smaller, right? So decimal moves to the left. 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 Why is that? So basically, how do we make the index positive? So if I was to write it in positive index, 10 to the power of negative 3, won't it cross the line? So basically, you're not multiplying by 1,000, you're dividing by 1,000. And that is why the decimal moves to the left. Does that make sense? Because it's a negative index, we have done what ne negative index means. Negative index means just it is 1 over the reciprocal of that. So 10 to the power of negative 3 means 1, 1 over 10 to the power of 3. So basically now you're dividing this by 1000. And that is why the decimal moves to the left. Does that make sense? So the shortcut is this, the understanding is this. Now, so, I okay, don't need to know, um, write that. So the decimal is here. So 1, 2, 3. So what do I fill the gaps with? Zero. So decimal has moved move one, two, three places. Make sense? Any questions? Next one. Again, the index is negative. Which way will the decimal move? Left. Left. How many places? Two. two. So 
One, two. Fill the gaps. Happy with that? Yeah. Right. Now, how do we convert from a basic number numeral into the scientific notation? So put the decimal the first after the first non-zero number. So what's the first non-zero number in 33,000? Isn't it this three? So you put the decimal here. Okay? Now, do I need these three zeros? No. No. Because it's after the decimal. Right? Now, what was the, where was the decimal here in this question? Wasn't it after this because it's a whole number? So, how many places have I moved the decimal? One, two, three, four. Yes? yes? Haven't I shifted the decimal four places? Yes. So that means it's going to be 10 to the power of 4. But whether it's positive or negative, we'll decide that in a minute. Now, from 33,000, I converted it to 3.3. .3. Did I make this number smaller? Yes? yes? So to compensate for that, I have to multiply with the positive power. Okay, so if you make the number smaller, you multiply it by positive power. That's how you remember. Let's try this one. If I was to move the decimal <coughs> after the first place, first <coughs> non-zero digit, isn't it the first non-zero digit? Yes. Yeah. So let's try and move the decimal. One, two, three, four. Haven't I made this number bigger? It was 0 0.000856. I've made it 8.56. But I can't just change the number. So to accommodate that, what do I multiply with? A negative power. So how many places have I moved? So 10 to the power of negative Okay, so the thing with scientific notation is you need to have a number here uh, that is between 1 and 10. So first non-zero digit in your answer uh, question, move the decimal after that and then see whether you're making it smaller or bigger. Let's try this one. So to move the decimal here, 1, 2, 3 places. So I'll write it as 6.3. But haven't I made it bigger? But I can't. So to compensate for that, I'll times it by negative. Let's try this one. So the decimal is here. I need to move it one, two, three. How many places? Three places. But haven't I made it smaller? Yes. So the power will be positive. Make sense? Now, how does it actually help us with our calculations? So I'm going to do these two questions, multiplication and division, and they'll be easier by using scientific notation. So rather than writing this as a uh, basic numeral, this is a basic numeral and then multiplying a five or six digit number, it makes sense if we do it this way. Can I multiply 1.7 7 by 4? Yes. So what's 17 times 4? Yeah. Is it 68? Yes. So how many places were after the decimal? So it will be 6.8. So I've times 1.7 with 4, which I get 6.8. Now, what happens when I times these? Bases are same and they're being multiplied. What happens to the powers? Added. So can I write it as 10 to the power of 7? Yes. See how easily we did this question? Because of scientific notation. So scientific notation is good to represent numbers that are too big or too small and they also help make our calculations easier with those numbers because they have the same base. Every number written in the scientific notation will have a base 10, you know, 10 to the power of something. Same here with division. I'm going to write this as a fraction. So 8 divided by 4 is 2. Bases are same and they're being divided. What happens to the powers? Subtract it. So 7 taken away 5 is 2. That's it. Just check that they are in scientific notation. So we only have one digit before the decimal? Yes, we only have one digit. It's just 2, 2.0. Happy with that? That's all you need to know about scientific notation.